Okay, this video is to uh, talk about how we can precisely resize, rotate, and uh, move an object. And uh, this is about the F2 button. Uh, now, the F2 button allows you to, to do a number of things here. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about um, uh, resizing uh, something. Let's say uh, the name here, we want to resize it. Uh, if you click on, on the name or, or, an, or an object, anything that you want, you're going to get these red boxes around the outside edges. And we can grab those uh, boxes and we can resize. As you can see, I'm getting a, a dashed line there that shows that it's getting bigger or smaller. Um, now, while I'm in the process of doing this, and I must see this dashed line, so I have to grab a corner or an edge and start to uh, drag it, I can hit the F2 button on my keyboard, and I will get a menu that asks me exactly how, I want, how big I want to make this. So if I want the width of the name to be exactly three inches. I can type in three inches there and tab down. And you can see, because I have the, the keep the ratio check there, that the height is, is going to change proportionally. If I wanted to skew it, if I wanted to set the height to something specific, I could take that check mark off and then put in any value that I want there. So if I hit OK, now Mary Geyser's name is now three inches um, wide from the edge of the of the uh, M to the edge of the Y there. Now if I want to rotate this, I could click on the little rotation uh, box down here and start to rotate it. And I could eyeball it. Maybe I want to rotate this exactly 90 degrees. Um, but while I am doing this, if I hit the F2 button, I'll get a menu that uh, shows me uh, that I can just put in whatever value that I want. So if I want to rotate it 90, I just type in 90, hit OK, and now the name has rotated 90 degrees. If I want to rotate it back, I can hit, uh, I can start rotating it, hit the F2 button on my keyboard, and then type in negative 90, and we'll go right back to where we were. Now the last thing that we can do is actually move something precisely. So if I move over the middle box and I grab it and start moving uh, Mary Geyser, I can hit the F2 button, and I can do what's called a relative shift, which means if I want to move the name over like one inch to the right, precisely one inch to the right, on the X value there, I could change that to one inch. And then on the Y value, I'll keep that at zero. So I'm just going to move it one inch to the right. And now Mary Geyser has moved one inch to the right. I could also click on that, start moving it, and hit F2. And I could do uh, click Shift 2. Now, on your laser machine, you can put the red dot in any location that you want. And you could literally put the uh, put the actual dimensions in, um, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the location, the X and Y coordinates of where that red dot is to move your object to that point. Uh, it's not quite as cut and dry as that, but in your beginner's manual, there is a whole section on step-by-step uh, -step how to do that. Uh, I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, I don't think you'll use that very often, uh, but it is listed in your manual. Um, so there you go, the F2 button. It allows you to precisely resize rotate or move an object.